Hey, what's up guys? I'm Fred from The Image Engineer and today I want to give you five tips that's going to help you take better photos. Let's get started. So tip number one, how can you make this the most epic photo you've ever taken by just adjusting the angle? Take a moment, think about the photo, take a step back, think of what you're shooting and how you can make this image the best it can be. Firstly, don't shoot from eye level. Everybody does that. Everybody who's not an experienced photographer, I might add. Change it around. Bring the camera all the way down to the same level as the subject. If you're shooting a landscape, why not bring it all the way down to the ground? Also think about Dutch angles. Take it about 45 degrees as opposed to your standard landscape or portrait modes. And if none of that helps, maybe you should just try moving left or right. Tip number two, framing. It often helps if you shoot through something. So use the foreground to your advantage to add that delicious bokeh to your image. It also helps to add depth to your image as well if you use something in the foreground that's completely blurred out to emphasize your subject. You can use anything from glass, plants, or even people. Really bring that vantage point to your subject. Whatever it may be, put it in front of your lens and use it to your advantage. Number three, lighting can be intimidating, but it doesn't need to be. If you don't have studio lights, use window light. Always available, always looks good, it's free. And if you don't believe me, check out one of my previous tutorials on setting up your own YouTube studio. There, 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 there. And if you're using window lighting, you're not happy with it, Try again tomorrow. The environment will change and maybe tomorrow is a better day to try this. Number four, context. Instead of just using your subject as the main interest in the image, add different things, different elements to the photograph that draws attention to the subject. It'll add a lot of atmosphere to your whole image. It's super quick to do and it leads your eyes straight to what you want the viewer to see. And without all these extra elements, your photo could be quite plain and boring. Number five, think out the box. Most people, as I said before, shoot straight at eye level. They don't think about maybe going down, getting level with the subject and getting that eye line to make it just a little bit more dynamic. Using the tips that I've just given you, think what else you can do to make this image a lot more interesting. How can you shoot it differently to most people? What makes your image more interesting than other people's? In the end, it's the little differences that make for an epic photo. Great stuff guys, I really hope you enjoyed this little video and uh, as always, if you liked it, hit that like button, please subscribe with the little bell and I'll see you in the next one.